Hi there, I'm Alan. I'm going to show you, explain to you how to solve a Rubik's cube by the first two layer method. The first step in using the first two layer method is to build a cross at the bottom. The convention I'll be using is to use the right color as the bottom. And here I have constructed a white cross at the bottom and flip it over and I do not need to see this cross again and notice that after doing the cross the edge color must match the center pieces assume you have the right cross at the bottom finished our mission is to fill in the four columns this first column, second, third, and the fourth. The four columns to fill in by correct pieces with correct colors and correct orientations. Each column consists of two pieces, the corner and the edge. Each of the corner pieces can appear in anywhere at the top or anywhere at the bottom. And similarly, the edge pieces can appear in anywhere at the top or anywhere in the second layer. So you see, there's a tremendous number of combinations and nearly endless possibilities is impractical to derive a function or algorithm for each of the combinations. But the fact is, all of, the, all of these possibilities can be grouped in manageable constraints. In my system, I'm going to tell you, I'll classify all these possibilities into three main groups. So now we start the discussion with group 1. I'll illustrate the idea by drawings. And here is a cube. And our targeted pieces of our selected column is located here. If I detach these two pieces here, we concentrate only on these two pieces, not on the other colors. It's possible that the white color can be on the top. And it's also possible that the white color can be on the side. So I can classify them by saying that this is white on top and this is white on side. And physically, you can have this example. Here is the red and green faces. And in the middle, there is the red-green column. And these two red-green pieces, they are now here. And this is the red-green column. White is on the top. Another white on the top example is like this. It's white on the top and the red green is here. And I can fill in my diagram by colors to illustrate their difference.
right on the top. And about the white on the side examples, they are there. Our chosen target is this blue and orange column. Blue, orange, they should be there, but now they are here. These two, blue and orange, and the white face is on the side. There's another white on the side example, it's like that. The white is on the side, and the blue and orange colors are arranged like that. So in my drawing, I should add in another, another modified example, white. White on the side, and if I fill in the colors, it's like that. So we have white on top, and there are two cases, and white on the side, and two cases. Now, classification is over, and here is the solution. For these two first, white on the top, our solution is to transform them into another group. I move these two pieces out from this column both to the top, like this. One, two, three. And these two pieces allow on the top. And similarly for this example, I transformed it into another group. One, two, three. And these two pieces, they allow both on the top. So that they are no longer belonging to group one, and they are belonging to group 2, which I will explain later. And for these two examples, white on the side, here is what you should start to focus. The solution is like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. See? the orange blue corner is here and now the orange blue edge is here after these two moves I can do a one two three by these three steps they are inserted into their correct column with correct orientations and for this one white on the side. The solution is like this. Focus. One, two, three, four. You see? The orange-blue columns, they are now there. And it is simple, easy to insert them into their correct column. One, two, three. Done.